Now we're going to talk about HTML files. Just like when we create a resume, for example, in Microsoft Word, we have a Word file. It usually ends in doc or docx. For example, if we save the resume, it will be called resume.doc or resume.docx. Well, in HTML, we do something very similar. Before we even begin to write our first line of code, we need the document to write our code in. And so we need to create that document. And usually cre we create those documents using something called a text editor. And we're going to be using brackets for this class. And think of brackets as our Microsoft Word or our Google Docs for code. It's where we're going to be creating our code in files and writing our code to those files. And so we're going to be creating an HTML file to write our HTML code. And all HTML files end with an extension called .html. So usually there's the name of the file, for example, contact.html. The dot or period is a separator between the name of the file and the extension of the file. So our extension is .html. The name of the file is contact. And some examples of the names of HTML files could be contact.html or aboutme.html. You can name the files whatever you choose. But there's one special case. Our home page is always index.html. This is reserved for a home page. And I'll show you an example now using our final website. When I double click on index.html, notice it opens straight to my home page and goes there first. It doesn't go to my contact page, but my home page. And we'll be showing you right now how to make an HTML file. So I'm going to open my inclusion folder. I'll make a new folder, call it personal dash website. I want to open brackets. I'm going to drag this folder into brackets. And right now it's empty. But if I right click on the left pane right here, right click and click new file and call it index. Notice what happens in here. It's created, but there's no extension. So I need to call this file index.html. So I'm going to add the extension .html. And now notice what happens immediately. It adds a little Chrome browser icon because it knows it's an HTML file that we can open in our browser. I'll put the standard hello world and I'll hit save, command S or control S. And let's preview what we just created. It says hello world. I double click here. It says hello world and notice index.html is in our URL. So this is a very important key concept to know about coding in HTML.